Well, good Thursday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. Um, hopefully you had a good night's rest. Um, maybe you were able to get out and go to church last night, or maybe you're looking forward to doing that this weekend. Maybe you're doing that tonight uh, for New Year's Eve. And if you are, I do pray that you are careful. I want to send this uh, devotion, this little devotion out uh, to all those who watch this and all those um, who contact me and let me know. Uh, I want to send it out especially this morning to uh, Miss Wilma Ray in Little River, South Carolina and her family if they were to watch this and pray that it be a blessing to them. In chapter 4, Four of the book of James. Here's a scripture that's very familiar. Um, we've read it many times. I'm sure you've heard it many times. In verse 13, it says, Go to now ye that say, Today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Verse 14, he says, For whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time, and then vanisheth away. For that you ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. But now you rejoice in your boastings, all such rejoicing is evil. Therefore to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not to him it is sin. So in the beginning of that scripture that I read to you, there's hope and there's promise. At the end of it, there's promise as well. There's a promise that if you know to do good and you don't do it to you, it is sin. But the part that I want to touch on is, whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow. And isn't that the truth? We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, I have a device that I use for work. Who It has loads um, overnight, and it'll uh, update whenever I uh, calls it to, and it'll tell me what patients I have to see tomorrow. I've got a calendar I write in and write on. I've got a phone that I use to type in when I need a reminder for something. All that's for the future. I don't know about the future, but I know who holds the future. I don't know what is going to happen. And that's what James is saying when he writes here. He says, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeared for a little time and then vanisheth away. I spoke with a man yesterday who was... Um, saying to me, he's 90 or 91, and he said, he said, time just flies. And I said, I've heard the older you get, the faster it goes. And he said, and that's right. The older you get, the faster it goes. Well, what is our life? It is, but a vapor, James says. It's here for a while, poof, it's gone. We don't know what tomorrow holds. The only thing we know for sure is we can know who holds tomorrow. Now, we know he holds it, but do we know him personally? My prayer is that the answer to that is yes, that you do know who holds tomorrow and that you have a personal relationship with him. It's a simple thing. He gave his life to save us, to forgive us, to free us, to keep us. And you just need to accept what he's already done for you. I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day to day. I don't borrow from its sunshine. For its skies may turn to gray I don't worry o'er the future For I know what Jesus said And today I'll walk beside him For he knows what is ahead Many things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand But I know who holds tomorrow And I know who holds my hand I don't know about tomorrow It may bring me poverty But the one 
Pharaoh is the one who stands by me and the path that be my portion may be through the flame or flood but his presence goes before me and I'm covered with his blood many things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand but I know who holds tomorrow and I know who holds my hand every step is getting brighter as the golden stairs I climb every burden's getting lighter every cloud is silver lined there the sun is shining there no tear will dim the eye at the ending of the rainbow where the mountains touch the sky many things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand but I know And I know who holds my hand. Not just knowing who holds tomorrow, <laughs> but knowing him in a personal relationship. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. From day to day, God, we rely on you for help, for strength, for protection, for guidance. And God, I pray that you would bless those that maybe are listening to this today. Maybe there are those that listen who do not have a relationship with you. God, it's not my job to condemn or to put people down. <laughs> We're all in need of a Savior. And I'm thankful we have one. Lord, I pray that you will bless today in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, folks, I don't know if you're going to be up late tonight, partying, watching the ball drop. Maybe you'll be at church, wherever you may be. Uh, but uh, for New Year's Day, uh, my intention is uh, Friday to have a little devotion here for you. And so if you come back, you'll see it. And if you don't, come back Saturday after you wake up, right? God bless you.